Hey everybody, it's Bobo the Vulture. Been a while, huh? Yeah, well, you know. Life happens. Events go on. I've been trying to keep these video posts as close to, uh, live as I can. You know, within a few days at least. Um, and, uh, unfortunately that may mean the occasional little gap when things like, uh, friends pop in from out of town or, uh, have a bunch of work issues, whatever the things are, you know. There's always something. Bobo the Vulture always has an excuse. I mean, uh, a proper explanation. Um, but wait a minute. Oh, that's actually what I did, isn't it? Um, I wanted to make sure I was started at the right point. Um, anytime I start a new session, I play for a minute or two just to check the audio levels. But anyways... Uh, last time, uh, we got attacked by a sloth. No, I don't want to set my destination. What I want to do is do something I meant to and should have done a long time ago. Oh, wait, no. Don't weigh anchor. Keep moving. There we go. Reappoint. Change the job duty of Hans Starton. Wait a minute, he is the chief navigator already. He's not just a regular navigator, he's the chief navigator. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Suppose I could make Hans the uh, first mate. See what that would do for him. I guess if they're just a regular navigator, they don't get any special, uh, they don't get any special experience for wandering around and doing such. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, we have one guy left on lookout. And we still have a little bit of the, uh, this river system to look through. But hey. We're now an extra light, extra mobile, uh, force. How are we doing for water? Running kind of low on water, actually. Why don't we stop and fill up? Let's land here. And, uh... We couldn't find water, eh? Well, I guess we'll sail, then. Can we find water here? Shall we land here? Yes. And let's search around. We couldn't find... We're in water! Alright. Let's cast off again. Okay. Getting very short of water here. What, but no, no, not what I meant to do. I meant to land. Can we look around? Alright. No water. Okay. What is up with the lack of water? I don't quite understand. Let's stop in Montevideo and uh, maybe get some friggin' water. I can't believe we just couldn't find any clear springs. Ahoy there, matey. Will you be shoving off? Well, I'm gonna supply first. Um, let's fill up with... 135. Yay! And then we will load 88 barrels of water. Sounds good to me. Does it sound good to you guys? Will you be shoving off? I will be shoving off. We can sail away for 33 days. Go ahead and continue to explore the uh, South American coastline here. Huh, we must be uh, getting very near the coast. Well, near the southern tip of South Africa, I should say. Yeah, here we are. Must be 
finding the Falklands or something else around here at this point. Hey, we found a village! I pretty much had to ram right up against it to find it, too, huh? Shall we land? Yes, let's land. And let's search the village. We discovered an exotic animal! Sweet! We discovered the Leon Penguin. Hi, I'm Leon Penguin. I'm a flightless, goose-sized bird that uses my wings to swim. I'm found in large flocks and was discovered by the Portuguese navigator Leon Franco about 20 years ago. Well, that's what some people say. Other people say, I discover that some bitch right now. Let's sail. Let's cast off. Alright, the shore is quite icy over here indeed. Oh. Okay, I've hit Antarctica. And uh, do not seem to be able to make any more headway that way. Tell you what, folks, I am honestly not in any real mood to uh, try and traverse the whole rest of the world down that direction, but what I will do is uh, cuddle the coast of Antarctica here. I don't think I'm going to find any uh, Commodore. I feel an eerie calm settling across the waters. Is the wind dying down? I don't know. Commodore, the wind has died down completely. Crud. Well, I suppose while that's happened we can land. Yes, let's land. Let's land in Antarctica and allow the thing to come get us. Couldn't find water. What, the friggin' continent is mostly ice, isn't it? Great. We have no wind speed. We're stuck here. Can't get out the oars. Uh, the crew is probably not very happy at this point. We still have a fair amount of water, though. So we got that going for us. So, um... Commodore, the wind! The wind started picking up! Thank friggin' goodness. Is that an effect of just being this far south? Lord, I hope not. Because I plan on sticking along the coast here like glue for a while. Although... Looked like there was something almost interesting up here. A little island. Okay, there's actually nothing interesting about the island, but... Okay. The Falklands. Strategic sheep purposes. Now, how are we doing? Now, we're doing moderately alright for water. Wouldn't mind finding some. But hey, we're back to the map reset point. That's good news. Good, good news. As we continue to sail endlessly. I think a nice long voyage like this is going to uh, level up a good, hopefully myself and my characters. My little guys that are hanging out with me. Yeah, this is going to be a great expedition. Why did I uh, stop and find some water soon? Shall we land here? Yeah, let's land here. Let's search for water. We couldn't find water. Well, alright, let's sail on. Let's cast off. I guess you're not going to find bubbling springs in Antarctica, but I thought you'd be able to find water. Come on, guys, eat the snow. I mean, seriously. Alright, let's sail. Well, hopefully we should be finding the uh, southern tip of Africa soon. Um, 
Let's stop and uh, have one more look for water. Shall we land? Yes. Shall we search? Yes. We found a clear spring. Thank goodness. How many barrels of water? Let's pick up a hundred barrels of water. I like this idea. Let's sail. Alright, at this point I think... Yeah... I'm thinking that any moment now we will really need to sail north to get to the Horn of Africa. It's all based on sailor's intuition, because of course I am an old sea dog. That's what they used to call me, sea dog. Really, it's all based on me checking my map every few seconds. Of course, the uh, bad thing that may happen now is I'm out far enough to see if a storm does hit as can happen along the Horn of Africa. It's time to go around the Horn, folks. We found a village. Wait, no, no, no. Let's stop in the village. Let's land. Let's entertain the villagers. Oh, no, let's actually not. Let's just search. We didn't find anything. Okay, well, maybe I should have entertained those villagers. Our friendship level has increased. Now let's search. We discovered a monument! Yay! We discovered Diaz's monument. It's a stone monument of the Cape of Good Hope in the southern tip of Africa. It was erected by Bartholomew Diaz and remains a symbol of brave sea adventures. Sweet. Let's get sailing. Let's get cracking. Or packing. Hey, we found the port of Cape Town. Let's go inside. His navigation and seamanship went up. Niccolo's navigation level and seamanship and knowledge went up. Great. He'll hopefully become a better, uh, bookie. I didn't gain any experience, though. Pfft. Why would I? I'm just the one in charge of this ship. Hey, buddy. I'm not going to be, uh, shoving off right now, no. I think what I'll be doing is supplying. Though. Thank you very much. Let's, uh... Let's do my standard. Let's do 106. Yay! And then fill up with four barrels of water. Boy there, maybe we'll be shoving off. Yeah, let's go ahead and sail. Making can sail for 33 days. Honestly, I probably don't need to stock up with that much food. I'm a little nervous at this point, though. But, let's look for some nice African ports along the way here. What the... Commodore, something is wrong here. Did you just hear that ominous tone the same way I did? As we looked up to the mess, there was a strange phosphorescent light around the rail and sail and rigging. You know what this is, folks, right? We survived! It's a miracle! I can feel St. Elmo's fire burning in me! I really need some more crew. Kinda feel like I'd... Well, actually, hang on a second. I transfer my crew. Nope, I still have a guy on lookout, so... I should still at least be... Oh, hey there. Ah, crud a river. You know, I gotta go through the river at least. Check and see if there's any cool villages and stuff. But, you know, I'm starting to get nervous about these things. Our crew was paid 50 gold pieces. In wages. Alright, didn't see anything though, so never mind. Never me mind about all this. But yeah, starting to map a whole mess of Africa, and of course, I already mapped a whole mess of the Americas. 
I'm a cartographing beast. I'm a cartographing beast demon. Cartographing demon beast. I'd like to find some towns, though. Some trading ports or something. Find a village. Lose some more men. Shall we land? Let's land at the village. Let's look around. We discovered a monument! Sweet. We discovered Diogo's monument. We just saw Diego's monument, now it's time for Diogo's monument. Go, Diogo, go! A tall stone monument with the inscription with inscriptions in Latin, Portuguese, and Arabic. Erected when Diogo Cam discovered the Congo. Alright then. Let's cast off. Is there a port there? No, there's no port there. Why would there be a port there, really? Ah, silly me. What am I thinking, thinking there'd be a port there? I already gone up this river? I have not. Better do it. Also, better check on my water supply. Water supply is not bad, actually. Okay. Nothing really going on right there. How about here? Any village? Hello, village! I want some discovery so that I can become super cool hero to the, uh, you know, um, Governor General of Holland. Let's look around. We discover the ruins of an ancient civilization! Yeah! A clay mosque, supposedly the ruins of Golden City in the Sahara. Time is taken its toll, but the work of conscientious desert dwellers has have helped. The work of dwellers have. The work has helped preserve the desert structure. Or the ancient structure. Yeah. Shall we cast off? Yes, let's cast off. We found the port of Timbuktu. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go to the port of Timbuktu. We're gonna stop here. You know what's gonna happen in Timbuktu? One. We're gonna go to the friggin' bar and get some crew. Although first we'll come over here and talk with people, with Hans and Nicola. Commodore, where's our next stop? I don't know, dude. Commodore, where's our next stop? Um, I didn't want to tell Nicola, but uh, it's some place to dump him off. Hey, silly, you'll like our coconut milk. I believe that. Um, costs one gold per serving. I tell you what, let's buy thirty servings. What? Are you the famous adventurer Ersch von Bohr? Did you know that the Governor of General of Holland is looking for you? I believe that he is looking for me. Hey, any of you tough sailors want to join our crew? Hi guys, we rounded up eighty-six men. You don't need that many. Um, I would say we need let's see, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, why not? Thirty-four men. How many do you want to assign to this ship? Oh, I got sixty-one. I'm I'm awesome at counting. That's okay. Sixty-one out of possible eighty. That's enough for right now. Let's get out of here, though. It's 11.30. Let's go take a rest. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty Tommy Tuckered out. Here we go. Welcome, you're retired. Please make yourself at home. Actually, hang on. I'm going to go talk to this guy up here. I heard a good navigator was at the cafe. Aw, you turned my head. My guys are over there. You must be tired. I am. I think I'll check in. 8 a.m. is a good time to check out. Sure, why not? It's all set then. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I will try and not let those bed bugs bite me. It's bad. It's bad, folks. Alright, so here's what's going to happen now, folks. 
We're gonna go talk to people around here. The basic oh, okay, yeah. Good to know. Dual tactics. It's time to do 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 You, you're the old man of this town. Tell me the specialty. Ivory, hey. I like the idea of ivory. Well, no, it's actually cruelty to animals and such folks, but in this day and age, awesome. How can I help you? I'd like to buy some goods. Ivory is the local speciality. Uh, is that so? That price is acceptable. I won't take it, though. I will offer you... 66. No. Oh. How about 68? Yay! I will go ahead and purchase 96 lots of ivory. We don't have any more space left in the hold. Probably true. We don't need any more space in the hold, though. We got friggin' ivory. We're ivory traders now, folks. Hans, the sea is really interesting, isn't it? I'm interested in this. The way the sea goes out forever, it's so romantic. I the sea. You've only seen a calm sea. Actually, that calm sea with no wind in it was one of the most terrifying things that's happened to me in this game. All of a sudden, I couldn't move, and we're just sitting there... eating. We won't be able to sail for long. Shall we cast off anyway? Yeah, let's cast off anyway. I have faith in us. We'll be able to sail for long enough. Let's go ahead and stop, though, and uh, see if we can't find a clear spring. Let's look around. We found a clear spring. I knew we would. Let's go ahead and load up 24 barrels of water. Yay! And sail away. Found the port of San Jorge. Oh, there was another port, just one stop over from the last port I ever went to. What do you know? This one's allied with Portugal. I wonder if it has a specialty. It's 2.30 a.m. I just happen to be here at this hour. Why don't I go into the shop? See if they have special deals. A little bit of time only. We're selling some really special items you don't usually see. Is that so? Is that so? A ruby ring, eh? It is a ring set with a large ruby. Yeah, I don't need that. You know what? I think I'm okay. I'm down to the sub-ingot territory. Oh, it took me a long time to just be inside that, uh, port, huh? Or that, uh, item shop. Hey, you're a trader, aren't you? I've raised the specialty of this port. Oh, yeah? Can I buy some more? I wonder what your going rate for ivory is. I want to clean as real as ivory. Actually, let me check my journal and see what I bought ivory for in Timbuktu. Um, 68 gold pieces each. That's cool. I somehow get the feeling I'm gonna make a killing on this ivory, folks, once I bring it back up to the, uh, to the north country. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some. If you don't have a tax-free permit, you gotta pay. Wow, you are asking a lot of money for ivory. That price is acceptable. No, it's not okay. How about even 80? No, I'm not gonna buy your friggin' ivory. Get the F out. There you go, folks. It's a little bit of an extra trip. Timbuktu, totally worth it. Yes, yes, yes. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. Let's get all. Let's get all stacked together, folks, and shove off. Well, let's supply up first. Supply off. 38 barrels of water will be loaded. Yeah, alright. Let's shove off. 
12 days. Let's do it. Rock their worlds. And here is the issue with, you know, sailing in Africa. Let's land here and wait. Commodore, it's a storm. We're totally okay, though. Because that is how we roll. This is the way we roll, we roll. This is the way we roll. I'm rolling home. As, you know, a week or so goes by, Commodore, somehow we weathered the storm. Well, then, let's go. Hey, never mind. I'm just only sort of able to hear the game music, so... Sometimes I will, uh... Think it's gone quiet that a storm has started. You'll have to forgive me if I'm a little anxious. So, got to admit, I am curious as to how much I will be able to get for this, uh, ivory. Hey, you know what? I'll just go straight back to, uh, Holland. Oh, holy crap. I need to stop and, uh, get some supplies for the crew. I'm gonna stop in Lisbon. It is the capital of Portugal, after all. 3.30 in the morning, so a little bit late to be trying to check out the items. But let's go ahead and, uh, supply up. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Although, is this the place where the, uh, supply... i tell you what, let's just get... Let's just get a hundred barrels of water. That's enough. We can sail for 17 days. That's plenty of time. Plenty of sailing, folks. It's smooth sailing. Though, I'm trying to remember now, Lisbon might have been the city, well, a city where I can sell some of these secrets that I don't bother to sell to the Governor General of Holland. But, uh, tell you what, I can't wait to go back here to Holland and talk to Ernst. We're going to stop in Amsterdam right now so that we have an opportunity to do that. It is the capital of Holland, in case you had forgotten. And we are here. And, uh, man, it's the middle of the day. There's hustle and bustle going on. I'll tell you what I'll do. First things first. I'm going to go ahead and offload this ivory. How may I help you? What can I do for you? What ship? The Dune. What goods are for sale? 290! 290 is the going market rate for ivory. Ivory that I picked up for, what was it, about 70? 69, 68, maybe? 96. Bam! Pretty much just getting that ivory and bringing it back up here. More or less paid for that entire excursion uh, across the... basically to chart the boundaries of the Atlantic. So how do you like them apples, folks? Well, let's take a look at the handiwork of Ernst von Bohr here. There we go, we've lined up the Americas. Pretty much got Europe all uh, buffed out. Much of the uh, coast of Africa. Not the not the east coast of Africa yet, but uh, pretty much are giving the continent some good shape at this point. And when we come back next time, folks, gonna go talk to our boy Mercator. Probably go talk to the Governor General of Holland. Give him a couple of secrets, you know, just enough to uh, give us a nice new rank or two, maybe. 
we'll see how it all goes, folks. Uh, hope you'll join me next time. Uh, this is Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons. This is Boba the Vulture, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.